this is the structure of builder pattern we will see how this is implemented in python source here is the class director here is the constructor of director inside this we are assigning the value none to instance variable builder here is the method set builder it has parameter builder obj inside this we are setting instance variable builder with this parameter builder obj here is the method construct it has parameter name inside this we are checking if name is product1 then we are executing these statements for building product otherwise if value of name is product2 then we are executing these statements for building the product so this method has construction logic for building the product so in case of name is product1 then it calls the method create of builder and then it calls the method build part a and build part b for building the parts of the product and in case of name is product2 then it calls the method create for creating the product then it calls the method build part c and build part d for building parts of the product here is the class builder it has method create build part a build part b build part c build part d so these methods will be defined in subclass otherwise if it is used then it will throw error here is the subclass concrete builder 1 derived from builder here is the constructor of concrete builder 1 inside this it assigns the value none to instance variable product here is the implementation of method create inside this it creates the product one instance object and the object is assigned to instance variable product here is the implementation of method build part a build part b build part c and build part d and here these methods are doing no operations but actually they will be building the part of the product here is the method get product inside this it returns the instance variable product value here is the subclass concrete builder 2 derived from builder and here is the constructor of concrete builder 2 inside this it sets the value none to the instance variable product and here it implements the method create inside this it creates the product to instance object and the object is assigned to instance variable product and here is the implementation of methods build part a build part b build part c and build part d here we are doing no operation but in actual these methods will be building part of the product here is the method get product inside this it returns the instance variable product value here is the class product1 and it has method use product inside this it is just displaying this statement and here is the class product 2 it has method use product inside this it is just displaying this statement okay we will see how all these classes are used here we are creating director instance object and we are assigning to variable director and then here we are creating concrete builder 1 instance object and we are assigning it to variable builder 1 and then we are calling the method set builder of 
director and we are passing builder1 as parameter. Builder1 is pointing to concrete builder1 instance object. So it will go to director set builder. It will come here and it will set the instance variable builder with this parameter builder obj which is builder1 which is pointing to concrete builder1 instance object. So instance variable builder is set with concrete builder1 instance object and then we are calling the method construct for constructing the product and here we are passing product1 as parameter. So it will go to director construct. So it will come here. Since this parameter value is product1, so it will execute these statements for building the product. So it will call the method create of builder. So builder is pointing to concrete builder one instance object. So it will go to concrete builder one create. So it will come here and it will create product one instance object and that object will be assigned to instance variable product. Then we are calling the method build part A and build part B of builder. So it will go to concrete builder 1, build part A and build part B. Here we are doing no operation. But in actual, we builds the part of the product. So construction logic for building the product is done here and then it calls the method get product of builder1 so it will go to concrete builder1 get product so it comes here and here it returns the instance variable product value which is pointing to product1 instance object so product1 instance object will be returned and assigned to variable prod1. So when the method use product is called, it, it will go to product1 use product. So it will execute this statement. So this will be displayed. And here we are creating concrete builder2 instance object and that is assigned to variable builder2. Then we are setting the builder with parameter builder2 which is pointing to concrete builder2 instance object. So here we are setting the instance variable builder with this concrete builder2 instance object. And then we are calling the method construct where we are passing the parameter product2. So it will come here and since the parameter value is product2, so it will execute these statements for building the product. So it will call the method create of builder. Builder is pointing to concrete builder2 object. So it will go to concrete builder2 create. So it will come here. It will create the product to instance object and that object will be assigned to product and then it calls the method build part c and build part d for building the part of the product so it will come here it will execute these two methods here we are doing nothing then it is calling the method get product of builder2. So it will go to concrete builder2 get product. So it comes here and here it returns the 
instance variable product which is pointing to product to instance object so product to instance object will be assigned to variable prod2 and when the method use product is called prod2 is pointing to product to instance object so it will come here and it will display this statement okay we will run this program and we will see the output you can see here get product is returning the product one instance object so when the method use product is called it comes here and it displays this and here get product is returning product to instance object the prod2 is pointing to product to instance object and when the method use product is called comes here and it displays this